Today's episode, Bad News in New Zealand. Come <laughs> to. Carmen San Diego and her army of anti-social aardvots have struck again. This time, they vandalized the green valleys and verdant meadows of New Zealand. The first settled by Polynesian people, now called Maori, about a thousand years ago, the islands of New Zealand were colonized by the British in 1840, and they brought some very important friends. Sheep. Why are sheep important in New Zealand? I'll tell you. Okay. It's the 19th century. England's farmland is shrinking while its population is growing. Mm, England says. How do we feed these folks? Hey, we got New Zealand, a huge colony crawling with sheep. But it's 13,000 miles away. Well, I guess we'll just have to develop refrigeration. Yes, so they froze the sheep, shipped them halfway around the world, and everyone was happy. England had food. New Zealand had a major industry. Now, if we could just please Carmen and send it to Mars, we... Well, anyway. Yesterday, Dick the Slip, disguised as Little Bo Peep, rounded up 65 million of the cloven hoof trippers and herded them away. Every last sheep from Wellington to Wakawa is gone. 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 Now, Gumshoe, here's your mission. Vanquish Dick, sag the sheep home, and then... Corral that criminal common San Diego. The loot is gone and the chase is on. Common San Diego. <laughs> and one of these people could find her. <laughs> Heather King. <laughs> Michael King. <laughs> Chandra Shikran! And this man is special agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee! Right, right. Hi, Gunsies, how are you? Good, good, good. Listen, you've heard about the case. We can't waste a lot of time here. So we're going to start off with 50 acne crime bucks. Anytime you answer a question correctly, we'll give you 10 more crime bucks. And the two of you with the highest scores at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round, okay? Chief, let's go. Greg, Vic the Slick has stolen all the sheep in New Zealand, and there's no time to lose. Now, here's the profile on Vic. <laughs> He's a sleazy salesman who steals a slime off a slug. And here's what we know so far. Uh -huh. Yes, we are. Well, as you can see, these poor little sheep have lost their way. But they brought us some vital information about the whereabouts of Vic the Slick. Vic tried to ship his sheep from New Zealand across the Tasman Sea to Sydney. Now, Australia has six states, and Sydney is in the one with the most people. It also has a lot of sheep, about 60 million. So they told Vic to take his sheep shipment and shove off. Greg. Thanks, Chief. Aren't they cute? Okay, gun shoes. Name the Australian state. Is it New South Wales, South Australia, or Victoria? And the clues that we heard from the Chief. Sheep, Tasman Sea, and most populated of states. Heather, we'll start with you. What do you think? I said Victoria. Victoria. What do you think, Michael? I said Victoria too. Victoria too. Kumar, what do you think? I said New South Wales. New South Wales. The answer we're looking for is New South Wales. Nice job, Kumar. <laughs> nice job, Kumar. You get off to a good start. Heather and Michael are still at 50. Kumar pulls ahead just a little bit here with 60. We're going to take a little bit of time out now, though, and find out about you guys. Heather, you brought something with you that you were showing me before that uh, is very interesting. Show us yeah. what that is. I brought my good luck bunny. My friends made me this bunny before I came onto the show. And they all told me to say it yes. <laughs> and they're all sitting out in the audience. Well, great. We're glad that they're here. We're glad you're there. Very nice. And Michael, you have one of these things too, right? Yeah, my friend sits in and they gave me a thing. Very nice. But there's something you, something else you want to show us. What is it? Um, yeah, I wanted to show you my juggle. I just happen to have some pieces of fruit here. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. All right. Nice job, Michael. Kumar. Uh, 
What were we talking? Oh, you don't have a you don't have a bunny. No. You're the one person here that doesn't have one. But you have been television before. Tell me about it. Yeah, I've been on a show called The Whispering to the Gay. Very good. Television. Well, listen. Welcome everybody here to our show, ladies and gentlemen, to the Gay. And Kumar, you've already started off here. You have sixty. Everybody else has fifty. Tight great game. Though, listen now to our second clue. For our next clue, we've got a report coming in from Acme Sportsnet agent George Michael. George. Hi, Gumshoes. Hey, here's a clue. To catch this. Now watch. In 1985, 10 American and 10 Soviet teenagers teamed up to climb Mount Elbrus. It's the highest mountain in Russia. At first, they didn't know a thing about each other. But, well, by the time these climbers reached the top, they had become friends. And they learned that they really had a lot in common. Now, Vic is leading his sheep He's leading a stolen sheep through those same mountains across the border into Georgia. So happy climbing, gumshoes, and good luck. Thanks, George. Okay, guys, name the mountains. Is it Caucasus Mountains, Alps, or Himalayas? Remember the clues that we heard? Mount Elbrus, highest mountain in Russia, and across the border into Georgia. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can, please. Looks like everybody's got it. Heather, we'll start with you. What do you say? I said the Caucasus Mountains. Caucasus Mountains, Michael. I said the Caucasus Mountains. Caucasus Mountains. Kumar. I said the Caucasus Mountains. Caucasus Mountains. Everyone says the same thing. Everybody's right. Nice job, guys. Now we're going. Now we're going. Heather and Michael, you move up to 60 crime bucks. Kumar still in the lead, though, with 70 crime bucks. What Very close. Cool. Wait a minute. That sounds like the unmistakable sound of scuttlebutt. Come on, let's take a look. Hey, guys. Hey, man. What's the word on the street? Actually, the word on the street is two words, Greg. Winglovio Glow. Now, that means coal mining in a region of Great Britain. Now, since the, uh, the late 19th century and the early 20th century, they've been putting out tons of the stuff, the black stuff, each year. Now, Vic hid the sheep in an abandoned mine near Cardiff. He's going to have a tough time unloading them, though, because sheep already outnumber people there by almost three to one. And they're almost all a special low-fat breed to boot. Low cow mutton. Low cow mutton. I like that. Oh, get on <laughs> All right, Gumshoes, you heard it. Now the question is, name what part of the United Kingdom did Vic try to hide the sheep? Is it Scotland, England, or Wales? Remember the clues that we heard? Coal mining, region of Great Britain, and Cardiff. Okay, Heather, we'll start with you. What do you say? I said England. England. What do you think, Michael? I said Wales. Wales. What do you think, Kumar? I said England. England. The answer we're looking for is Wales. Nice job, Michael. Okay, so Heather stays at 60, Michael moves up to 70, and is now tied with Kumar for first place. But again, a very... Okay, guys, that can only mean one thing. It's time for the lightning round. All of these questions have to do with Vic the Slick's most recent known whereabouts, which is whales. So, each one of these are going to be worth five crime bucks. Hands on your buzzers. Listen carefully. Here we go. The Prince of Wales is a title held by the man who will be the next king of the United Kingdom. Is he Prince Andrew? <laughs> Kumar. Prince Charles. Prince Charles is right. Nice job. Five for you. Question two starts with a quote, so I'll read the quote and then we'll have the question. Listen carefully. Here, here's how it goes. I can never remember whether it snowed for six days and six nights when I was 12 or whether it snowed for 12 days and 12 nights when I was six, unquote. Now, those lines come from A Child's Christmas in Wales, the classic tale by one of this century's greatest poets. Was his name Dylan Thomas? Bob Dylan or Richard Burton? I'm sorry, out of time. Dylan Thomas. Okay, question three. St. David's Day is a national holiday in Wales. On that day, you'll find the Welsh all over the world wearing one of the two national emblems. One is the daffodil. The other resembles an onion. Is it a parsnip, a mango, or a leaf? Kumar. Parsnip? Sorry, it's not a parsnip. Michael or Heather? Michael. That's correct. Five for you. Okay. So that means at the end of three and a lightning round, Heather has 60, Michael 75, and Kumar 75. Okay, Gumshoes, remember, we're still looking for the sheep and Vic. Fortunately for us, though, Acme Bugnet has just intercepted the phone conversation between Vic the Slick and Colin San Diego. Watch. All this bleep and bleating is giving me a headache, Carmen. Take two aspirin and scram before Acme makes mutton out of you. Go to Africa. Hijack a ferry across Malibu Pool to Brazzaville. 
Then head for the rainforest. Why there? You can hide out among all the different people. It's been home to the pygmies who only grow to about four feet, and the seven foot tall Watusis and lots of other groups. Yeah, I guess even I could get lost in that crowd. Okay, Gumsies, name the African country. Is it Central African Republic, Congo, or Sudan? And the clues that we heard, Brazzaville, Rainforest, and many different peoples. Heather, we'll start with you. What do you say? I said Congo. Congo. What do you think, Michael? I said Central African Republic. Central African Republic. Kumar? I said Congo. Congo. The answer we're looking for is Congo. Nice job, Heather and Kumar. Okay, so that means Heather, you have 70, Michael 75, Kumar pulling ahead a little bit here with 85 crime bucks. Nice job. Now, for our next clue, it comes to us from Acme Airborne Rodent Net. What? Okay, bats aren't the first thing you think of when someone says Texas. But I live with 750,000 of my buddies right here in the state capital. While we're the largest urban bat population in the United States, it's a nice life. We hang out and eat 15,000 pounds of bugs every night. And speaking of creepy things, I just picked up Vic the Slick on my sonar. So he's definitely in this city somewhere. After you bust him, you can come by and eat some chiggers. See you soon. Mmm, nothing like a hearty meal of chiggers. Okay, come to his name, the Texas city. Is it Austin, San Antonio, or El Paso? And the clues that we heard, state capital, largest urban bat population in the U.S. Michael and Heather are ready, and so is Kumar. Heather, we'll start with you. What do you say? I said Austin. Austin. What do you think, Michael? I said Austin. Austin. Kumar? I said Austin. Austin. Everybody said Austin. Everybody is right. Nice job. Okay, so that means, Heather, you move up to 80. Michael, 85. Kumar, 95. Crime buses. Now, we have just received word that Vic has left Austin, so it's time that we pick up... The chase. <laughs> the chase. Okay, each one of these are going to be worth five crime bucks. Hands on your buzzers, please. Watch right over here and listen co closely. Here we go. According to our agents, Vic shepherded the sheep to Canada and stopped in the capital of British Columbia. Name it. Kumar. Regina. Sorry, it's not Regina. Heather or Michael? Michael. Victoria. Victoria's right. Nice job. Five for you. Next. He flogged his flock to the city of Calgary. What province is he in? <laughs> Heather, you're in time. Go ahead. N um, Manitoba. Sorry, it's not Manitoba. Oh. Michael Kumar. Kumar. Alberta. Alberta's right. Nice job. Five for you. He took the sheep for a dip in Lake Winnipeg. Name the province. <laughs> Kumar. Manitoba. Manitoba's right. Nice job. Five for you. He flopped across Manitoba's northern border. What territory oh. is he in now? Kumar. Are you gone? Sorry, it's not the Yukon. Michael or Heather? Michael. Northwest. Northwest. Territories is right. Okay. Finally, Vic shipped his sheep to Quebec. What bay did he cross? Kumar. Hudson. Hudson Bay's right. Nice job. Five for you. Okay. That was a nice chase round. Heather, you're at 80. Michael, 95. Kumar has moved all the way up to 110 crime bucks. Nice job, you guys. Now. It is now time for the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, though, we'll subtract it from your score. You can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 active crime bucks. Take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here is a portion of the world where we think Vic the Flick is headed. Now, if you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. If you don't know very much about it, though, you may not want to risk quite so much. So, take a look at the map. And think about it. Okay, nice job. Looks like, looks like everybody has made a decision. For our next clue, we turn to that one and only. As the 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 big the 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 the
<laughs> Rockefeller, ladies and gentlemen. Here they are, right over here. Two of them. Two of the lost treasures of Motown. Okay, Gumshoes. Name the country. Is it Costa Rica, Panama, or Honduras? Now, the clues that we heard from Rockapella. Narrowest point on Central American land bri bridge. Uh, Choco people and Darien jungle. Heather, we're going to start with you. You have 80 crime bucks. Before you show me your answer, how much did you risk? I risked 30 crime bucks. 30 crime bucks. You get this right, you're back in the game. What'd you say? I said Panama. Panama is exactly right. Nice job. Mm. Going to take you up to 110. Michael, you have 95 crime bucks. How much did you risk? I risked. <laughs> 20, 20 crime bucks. If you're right, you take the lead. What'd you say? I said Panama. Panama. Nice job. <laughs> Takes up to 115. Kumar, you were in the lead with 110. He risked how many? I risked 10. 10 crime bucks. To get this right, you go up to 120. You and Michael will go on to the next round. What'd you say? I risked 10. Ni nice job. Panama. Good job. That I means Kumar and Michael, you're going on to the next round. Congratulations. Heather, listen, you did a great job. I mean, you were right in that to the very end. We've got some great stuff for you. We've assembled a kit that's going to help you in the next case. See? It's the official Acme Climb Net Travel Kit. And it includes an atlas for world travelers, an official common lot, a common feature, and a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine. And for easy reference when you're on the road, a portable globe. Good work. Hi, Chief. Okay, guys, now what you have to do is track Vic the Slick all the way to Panama. We're going to try to find those sheep and bring them back. But I want you to know, we do not send our agents out into the field unprepared. Chief, how about a briefing? <laughs> The folks down at Acme Photo Recon have put together a few slides on Panama. Have a look. Panama, bordered by both the Pacific Ocean and the Caribbean Sea. Some say its name means mini fish, but now that Vic brought mini sheep, it might be called Panama. Puerto Amreyes, the center of Panama's extensive banana industry. Now Vic's as slick as a banana peel, so he might try to slip through here. The San Blas Islands, just off the Panama coast, home to the Kuna people. Now, the Kuna have been in Central America for a long time, so they'll notice any newcomers, uh, 75 million sheep, for instance. The world-famous Panama Canal. This artificial waterway connects the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. In doing so, it saves boats a more than a 13,000-mile detour. Now, Vic's always looking for a shortcut, so check here. The old Panama City ruins. A prominent Panamanian educator said of them, they keep the silence of the past, the glory and wealth that are gone forever. And those sheep are going to be gone forever if you don't find Vic. He's somewhere in Panama. Go get him, Gumsy. All right, Gumsy, here we are in Panama. Sit yourself down right here, please. Come walk right over there. Let me show you what we have. Here are the possible locations where you will be able to find Vic the Slick, the Sheep, and a warrant for Vic's arrest. Now, the first thing you have to do is find the loot. That's the evidence you need so that you can get a warrant. With a warrant, you can then arrest the crook. Now, connect all three of those things in that order, in a single turn, and you get a chance to try to catch Carmen San Diego. Catch Carmen San Diego, and you get that trip to anywhere in North America. And, as always, anytime you happen upon the loot, the warrant, or the crook, you get a free turn, okay? Kumar, you are heading in the last round. You go first. National Museum. National Museum. The warrant. Nice job. First time out, you got the warrant. You get a free turn. But remember, you have to go loot, warrant, crook. Go ahead. Coiba Island. Coiba Island. Nothing there. Nice job, though. You found the warrant. Michael, go ahead. Palace of Justice. Palace of Justice. Nope, nothing there. Kumar. Baru Volcano. Baru Volcano. Nope, nothing there. Michael, what do you say? Puerto Amuelas. Oh, very, very brave. I'll try it myself. Puerto Amuelas. Nothing there. Okay. Kumar, go ahead. Um, Azuero Peninsula. Uh, Azuero Peninsula. Nothing there. Michael. La Fiesta Hotel. La Fiesta Hotel. No, nothing there. Kumar. Um, San Blas Island. San Blas Island. Nice job. You got the crook. But remember, you have to go loot, warrant, crook. Use some strategies. Go ahead. Mina Flores Locks. Mina Flores Locks. 
Nope, nothing there. But you did find Vic. That's good. Michael, go ahead. Chippo River? Uh, Chippo River. <laughs> okay, nothing there. Kumar, go ahead. Pan American Highway? Pan American Highway. Little Australia. Nice job. You got the loot. You get a free turn. Go ahead. National Museum. National Museum. The water. Okay, you got two. You need one more. Do you know where Vic is? Sandbluff Island. Sandbluff Island. Is he there? Vic is me. Yeah. <laughs> nice job. Oh, yeah. Come on over here, Kumar. Oh, yeah. Nice job. You found all three of them yourself. Nice job. Now, all you have to do is put Vic in jail to pull on that chain and do it. <laughs> Okay, Kumar, we're going to talk about your next adventure in just a little bit. But first off, Michael, listen, you were a great detective. You tracked uh, Victor Slick all the way to Panama. That's not bad. Chief. When you're on the road and you need the right word, the fastest way to find it is with an electronic translator like this one. You carry this with you wherever you go. Hmm. You know, I wonder how to say stop the woman in the red fedora in Danish. Oh, that's interesting. Thanks, Chief. Okay, Kumar and I are just now preparing to uh, go out on the road and try to catch Carmen San Diego. But before we do that, what you have to do is write down in this portfolio where you'd like to go if you catch Carmen San Diego and win that trip. Do it. Where do you want to go? Very nice. Hey, listen, you've had a good day today, right? I mean, you got Victor Slick, you got the seat back. Now all we have to do is catch Carmen San Diego. And something tells me this phone call may have to do with that. Mm. Hello? Yeah, he's right here for you. Yeah. Carmen's committing crimes while I'm penned up in prison playing poker for peanuts. You can find Carmen in the USA. What did Vic say? He said you can find Carmen in the USA. Then that's where you and I are going. Chief? Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Idaho. Utah. Wyoming. Oklahoma. Minnesota. Louisiana. Indiana. Tennessee. Ohio. Virginia. Maine. Maryland. Hawaii. Greg, let's go to the map. All right, Kumar. Listen, you know what this is all about, right? Yeah. Okay, what you got to do now is track Carmen San Diego through eight different states, identifying each one with a marker. When you're right, you'll hear this sound. When you're wrong, though, if that should happen, you'll hear this sound. If you're wrong two times, don't worry about it. This is very important. Leave the marker where it is, come on back, and we'll go on. But if you're right eight times in 45 seconds, then you will win that trip to anywhere in North America. Does that sound good to you? Yeah. Sound good to you guys? All right, come on, Kumar. Let's do this thing. Let's get 45 seconds up on the clock. Good luck to you, Kumar. On your mark. Get set. Go. Come on to Idaho. Idaho. You got it. Come on to Maine. Maine. Oh, yeah. Come on to Louisiana. Louisiana. Yeah. Utah. Utah. Yeah. Maryland. Maryland. This will be five. You got it. Oklahoma. This will be six. You got it. Oh, okay, come on. Come here. Hawaii. 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 This will be seven. Pour it on. Hawaii. Yeah. Indiana. Indiana. This is it. Indiana. You had me worried for a while, the way that one that went the, wa the wrong way, and then you came back and did it anyway. That was fabulous. You stepped right up this way a couple moments ago, and you decided you wanted to go someplace. If you got that trip, you wrote it down in here. Let's find out where you're going. You and a parent are going to Florida. And Kumar, as you know, you're no longer a uh, country. You realize that? Yeah. You're now a sleuth, and so therefore you can now wear the official Carmen San Diego sleuth jacket. Is that okay to you? Yeah. You did a great job, man. Here's your jacket. Listen, you've been doing some great stuff for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is. Do it, Rockefeller!
around the world. From Berlin to Carolina. Singing singer took the from Berlin down from Belize. Singing for a ride on the road to China. Tell me where in the world is Portland, San Diego. Feel that soul in South Korea. Make it better. And remember, you can diss me, you can sack me, but don't say nothing bad about acne. have been briefed regarding game rules prior to their appearance. All geographic information was accurate as of the date this program was received.